Reginald here. As mentioned, Thrust was bugged. As of today's hotfix, Thrust is now unbugged and is doing its expected damage uh, of 20 per up to 20%. This Thunderhammer uh, only has Thrust 3, so I'm going to demonstrate to you what a reasonable person could actually achieve with a good, a well-rolled Iron Helm, Thrust 3, and the right perks. Let's just hit a couple of targets and show you what the basics are. Uh, I'm not going to go through every single one, but we'll hit this Crusher. I'm sorry, this uh, Mauler, my favorite. And we'll bonk him for 1219 damage. Alright, that's good. Let's try an overhead. 669. Not bad at all. Alright, you're going to get the same result on the Crusher, but just to prove that I'm not a liar. There you go. Let's uh, real quickly uh, smack a few uh, newly infected around and just see what kind of values. Uh, runners, but aside, so, uh, see what happens when I get my slaughterer up. That's a pretty good, pretty good number there. Let's see about that overhead, shall we? And bonk. Notice I got to a value with all those stacks that brings me into the powered swing range. And that's pretty impressive with that overhead. Obviously, you, you know, there are a lot of situations where you're fighting multiple enemies. So you might swing some normal attacks and then hit the crusher for big damage in the middle and knock him over without having to worry about a powered attack. Not bad at all. I think that's about enough for... Yep, there you go. Okay, let's hit a few other targets. Let's show what kind of breakpoints you have. So this should be clear to you already, but... A normal heavy attack will bonk those, so that's very easy to do. The uh, thing about the Iron Helm and other hammers is you can just light attack the shield for a quickie and swing in that heavy attack to kill him. It's very nice, thanks to that lower lock time. Alright, let's uh, let's kill the Reaper. It takes a couple stacks of thrust. I don't think it takes three, I think it takes two, actually. One and Rising Conviction will do it as well. Uh, dogs are still just headshot. Yes, I know I have Rising Conviction on that, but I demonstrated it last time, so good enough. Uh, these guys still die uh, to just a, an overhead uh, with like one stack of thrust, maybe less. Let's see if I can even do it without a stack of thrust. It's really hard. Yeah, so thrust is really easy to get to stack one, uh, so I'm not even going to worry about it. All right, uh, let's look at ragers with the overhead. Not enough to kill them. That's with plus maniacs, mind you. Same thing there. Um, how about shotgunners? We'll look at uh, these ones. Yep, on the headshot, no problem. How about these guys? Yes, no problem. Uh, let's look at the thrust-based heavy swing. It doesn't matter what kind, you'll remember. Only about a thousand damage, so you still have to come in with something, like another heavy swinger, to kill these or shoot them or whatever. That's still fine in most cases, because your friends are going to be shooting them. You know, this is not a solo game. If you have to do this by yourself, you can, of course, do it, but, you know, it's fine. All right, so with plus Maniacs, I should be able to pop this guy, no problem. Now, if you have plus Flak, you can break, hit the breakpoint to kill these in one shot. However, I have plus Carapace, and I like that because it gets me uh, it gets me to a three shot, two heavy, one light range on Crushers. I think that's pretty good. Um, again, we're making this more of a generalist weapon with special sniping as our priority focus, and since, you know, we can hit things that are dangerous through the groaners, through the enemy here. Oops. <laughs> Don't like that. That's funny. Uh, we need to get back to cultists, poxwalkers. We'll do a couple poxwalkers here. So I should be able to hit this dog. Boom. That mean, that's, that's the advantage here, right? Okay. We need to talk about muties. Obviously, muties are something that are going to be the most interesting. Uh, for using this. So let me let me show you what muties look like since, you know, that breakpoint is probably one of the, in my opinion, one of the most important breakpoints for the hammer is whether or not you can quickly kill a muti. Uh, so let's go ahead and, and demonstrate what you can do. I'm going to get two of them. Mutant. There you are. Boom, boom. All right. This one's going to be on headshot with three stacks. Remember, this is only thrust three. All right, let's get, uh, let's get this guy in the back. Not quite. How much less? That much less. All right, so hypothetically, you can do something like that. And then... I didn't get enough thrust. That's embarrassing. All right. Let's try.
try that again. So what I'm going to do is bonk him. So one of the things you can do is while they're running at you, you can shoot them quick, then charge up your attack. And that way you're confident you'll hit them on the body, right? So let's actually demonstrate what that looks like. I can turn off uh, invisibility. We'll spawn the bad boy nice and far away. And I'll go for an intentionally bad swing. I don't think I hit the head on that one, but if I didn't, it would have killed him, right? All right, let's look at this. Dead stopping muties is very fun. Look at that. This is the thing I like the most about the hammer, is just dead stopping the guys. Easy. All right, so clearly the hammer can do what you need it to do. It hits all the main breakpoints. The only thing it doesn't do as well as the Crucius is it doesn't really kill Crushers as fast, and it doesn't really kill Monstrosities as fast. But you can use this more consistently throughout your game in real situations where there's lots of enemies around. There's a Muti in the middle of the horde. There's a Flamer in the middle of the horde. You're trying to get to that enemy that matters that's going to put your team down. Grab your Iron Helm instead. The Crucius will force you into using heavy attacks far more often without any power on them, which is just wasting a lot of its main potential, whereas the Iron Helm, while less has lower peaks, can still break most of the targets you need to break. So that's why I recommend the Iron Helm personally, Yes, you can finagle the Crucius's swing pattern so you can like hit just the edge of the screen and do a little hop or whatever to get over the Poxwalkers, but like that's very niche, very technical compared to just charge, swing. So, there you go. Uh, have a great day. Thanks for joining me.